You're probably thinking, how does STEM affect our daily lives? Well, have you thought about that text you sent from Seattle to London and how it got there? Your text winds its way through the complicated maze of transceivers in the cellular network. So next time you shoot off a quick text, thank the computer science majors, the electrical engineers, the people who designed the first cellular network. And who knows, maybe you will be the first person to create a cell phone that uses holograms. Everywhere you look, you can see STEM's influence. Take football, for example. Some ambitious UW fan could calculate the arc speed and calculate where the ball would exactly land. Just like in life, there are numerous what-ifs in STEM. Like, what if... Everyone had access to computers and technology. I would like to study computer science and informatics. And the reason I'd like to do that is because when I was in high school, I was involved with the technology department. And I realized how ineffectively the computer systems were used in high school. And what I'd like to do is make computers more accessible and more usable for high school students. What if students saw math in a new way? I want to do mathematics, and uh, I would like to be a teacher. Like I, was, I want to do it because I had a lot of teachers in high school that weren't all that excited about math, or they didn't really fully understand math, and it made it really hard for them to teach math. Like if I get a master's in math and a like master's in education, I can be a really good teacher, and I can fully understand math, so I can explain it, you know, a million different ways, so that. You know, each different way another kid will understand. There are many exciting paths you can take in the STEM field. Anything from programming robotic fish to the medical field. And who knows, maybe you'll design the next big thing in STEM. Just get out there and explore.